Hi, I'm Neil. I'm going to do a short review of a Fender Pro-Amp profile from Soundside. Why? Well, we have got a lot in the box out of Kemper, about 200, plus the uh, couple of thousand on the rig exchange, and we've got the commercial amplifiers. Uh, and I really like the ones from uh, Amp Factory, very easy and accessible, very clean uh, to get some good sounds out of. Sound side, well, I bought a best of profile, and some were good, um, some were a bit harder to dial into, and then I was seduced by the pictures and the sound clips of their uh, bundle two with some vintage amps. So um, I went and bought one, and uh, this is what I'm going to review now. Right, so it's a 1954 uh, Fender. It is uh, without any master volume and a 15 inch speaker, so clearly uh, to get it cooking, it gets rather loud. But of course, we don't need that, and uh, we can have it any volume you want with the, with the Kemper. So, uh, what do you get? You get 51 profiles and the documentation. Uh, and they're recorded at various tone and volume combinations, different mic positions, and you also get 12 uh, modified uh, effects uh, out of the box and as well. And I guess our first point is you need to understand the documentation, you need to read and get clear about the naming convention and what they all sound like. So, so what I did was, I, uh, a bit excessively, but I actually uh, recorded a short clip and reamped each of those 50 ones to hear the difference and to understand that. So uh, what I'm going to do now is play some of those key differences. There's a vast range of quality profiles which allow you to tweak and to uh, make sure they fit with your guitar as you would do with a real amp. They require commitment to understand it and to get the best out of it. So uh, thank you very much for listening and um, have fun. <laughs>